Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of the F123 Driver Grimo with Ferrari. This is episode number 47 today for the Las Vegas Grand Prix of Season 3, the penultimate round of the season. If you missed the previous episode at Portugal, I recommend going to check that one out before seeing this one because, spoiler alert, Sainz started from the back, didn't, well, no, he started from 11th, had a shocking start as well which won us, you know, and he just didn't really recover from that. They went, the AI also went four wide at turn one. So, yes, we come in then as a driver's world champion into Las Vegas. We can now go on and enjoy these final two rounds. Um, now, looking at R&D stuff, it wasn't really anything I was fancying. I like with the rear and front downforce to get both on at the same time. Um, the only other thing really available is brake upgrade and there's an ultimate tire which we don't have enough points for uh we're maxed out on the engine by the way except for one fuel that's coming in and then also the parts that are coming from ferrari so we're going to put a bunch of durability parts on um you know just to help this ferrari you know because we have taken our things are quite wearing and we have got quite a lot of money off basically so yeah that's going to help us out um yeah, Aston Martin bring a slight upgrade. We brought a slight upgrade, but well, I think that was that fuel efficiency upgrade. Alfa Romeo have closed the gap to um, Alfa Tauri, and obviously Alpine have jumped Williams. So, yes, those are the big mini changes. Obviously, there's only one round to go. That's Abu Dhabi, which will be, you know, this is the end of this quadruple header in the calendar that we've had. So, We'll have to wait and see. But we arrive then to Las Vegas. Obviously, this is a bit of an unknown how we're going to get on here. It's a new trap for me. And in Season 2, we managed four laps. Season 1 was a good race. You know, we were there or thereabouts. Tyre was a bit hard. Now, I'm going to be honest. In these final two rounds, you know, instead of me being way out in front, as I was in Portugal, we're going to qualify at the back. We're not going to set a time. We're on board with Carlos Sainz. Obviously, Sainz is probably going to set fastest laps. And, you know, he's going to take pole as he has done for the majority of the season. To be fair, um, as well as so we have a lap there now around Las Vegas, um, as well. But probably means that you know, obviously, as well for me, um, I'm not familiar so familiar with Las Vegas. But yeah, that turn sector I always hate. And then we come into this sector, which is section of the track, which is just. I don't know if this is necessary, this flying right hander, but it just feels a bit bland. And then this left hander, really, I like to see this corner open up in the future, personally speaking. And then also we're on to the big, long straight where you will max out your car. It seems that on this year's game, F123, um, that they maxed the car out at 226 mile an hour, whereas previously you'd be able to go far faster than that. And I think they've done that specifically to stop people getting ridiculously like 250 mile an hour speeds probably down this straight. Science is getting a ditch switch and he's done 225 in the speed trap so not quite full straight but then you don't really get that during um, not quite the 226 I should say um, but he's had a good time and that's a 29.5 and that's enough ladies and gentlemen to give him pole position but he's got a penalty for illegal blocking, I think that is. Wow. Yeah, so Pierre Gasly will be on pole position from Oscar Piastri. Who had that? Who, who had thought that? Um, it's, it's Science and Joe, both illegal blocking. Not entirely sure what happened. Then there's no replay cameras in qualifying, so I can't actually didn't actually see that. Um, I only saw his qualifying lap. Um, but yeah, so Gasly will actually be on the front row. We are going to start down, we'll actually be starting P19 because of Joe's penalty. So, yeah, well, we'll see what we can do from the back of the grid. Let's hope this one lasts more than four laps. It's time for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada for a race many couldn't believe would ever happen. From the glitz and the glamour of the famous strip, it is time for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. 3.8 miles and three straights. A good place to do some sightseeing at around 210 miles per hour. 17 corners should provide plenty of interest and lots of overtaking with two DRS teams. 
It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Pierre Gasly lines up on pole position, and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Ocon, Norris, Sonoda, Russell, Bottas, Leclerc, De Vries, Magnussen, Albert, Liam Lawson, Sainz, Sargent, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Phoenix, and Joe Guan Yu. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. And they can do it for sure, as long as they don't dwell too much on the position. At the end of the day, there's only one way to go racing, and that's to give it everything you've got. Either your best is good enough to stay in the hunt, or it's not. There's no point giving any less than 100%. Okay, so I know we've already won the championship, but it's amazing, but it's not time to switch off yet. We can relax in this race, but I want you to enjoy it. I also want a strong result. Thanks for some different words there, Mark. Um, race strategy is a bit interesting here. Um, the, the game wants medium hards. I not fancy medium hards. I think we're going to start on mediums anyway, um, and I think that the we're going to go soft tyre at the end. Um, that's why I just need to move, adjust this to get. Um, apparently, that's slower doing medium soft than medium hard on the Delta, but I think that will work out for us. The hard really isn't a good tyre to have that be on. So, five red lights then for the Las Vegas Grand Prix on the bend, and um, lights are out, and away we go. It's a very unusual start on 19th of the grid. We cut all the way to the inside already. And that being on that sort of slope, and we're down the inside of a few cars almost bumping into the Alfa Romeo there, but we are, we haven't had a good start, and I think we're up to a couple of positions there um, already, like P15 at least. Um, make that, yeah, P15, although Sergeant is going to come back at us. Um, yeah, get back, to, get, get, in, get back to last place. Um, and we're going to keep P15 around the outside. Lawson and Albon having a go. Now they're sort of really squabbling. The two Alpha Tauris there. I um, haven't really seen much of Alpha Tauri. You know, they've got a good line up. Sergeant, go away, please. Logan, go away. You should be at the back, not in the 16th. Um, would you look at the spit. Look at this. This is e too easy. We're up to 12th place. We made 3 0. We've we, we got to make a triple overtake. Lawson has a go at us, but the. A back of us to be fair, but we are able to keep the position. But look at that, it's just really easy to keep to, to overtake them. They're two, two avatars and Lawson, too busy thinking about themselves, and um, it's easy for us. Meanwhile, up at the front, Oscar Piastri has got the jump on Pierre Gasly, he has the lead. Um, so Piastri leads from Gasly, but obviously, it depends what's going to happen later on, you know, because obviously. Um, Gasly's going to try and come back, but Piastri is still there, going side by side, and Piastri retains the lead for now, but obviously DRS will be enabled soon um, as well, and that's Sites now getting past uh, Alex Albon, uh, the man who's been rumoured with a rumoured link to Red Bull Mercedes in real life, um, yeah, up at the front though, it's the two Alpines, two Red Bulls and Piastri, and the two, the two Alpines are mediums compared to the Red Bull Sauce. And Verstappen, round the out, right round the outside of Gasly, is going to get the Frenchman already. Although Gasly is going to come back at Verstappen, there's a bit of contact, um, but Verstappen will lose that second place again. So this, but Gas, that's going to allow Gasly to move up to second place. Perez is getting in front as well, and all this swapping is allowing me to get try and car through here. We're dive down the inside. Charles Leclerc move up to P12 now already. While we were doing that, Sites is also making a move as well. Remember, he started on the soft tyre, not compared to the medium is like me. So he will have the, the slower tyre in the second half of the Grand Prix um, as well. Although there's been a bit, something's happened there. Um, someone's going slowly. I think that was Bottas in his penultimate race of his career before he retires out of this career mode. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't know what he didn't kick the wall. I think it's an it's an engine failure. 
think, yeah, it's an engine failure for Bottas. That would be unfortunate for him. Meanwhile, um, Sonoda is really coming under pressure now. You know, he's preppy, he's separated from Ocon and Verstappen, not Gasly. Gasly has fallen away. I don't know if he's got some sort of engine issue, but he's Ocon and Verst Gasly has now been overtaken by Lando Norris in the Mercedes. And Gasly will have to settle for losing yet another position. We're having a look at George Russell, uh, Norris's teammate with DRS. And can we have a look at Gasly? De Vries is up in seventh. Um, he may our nosebleed being that high. We can't get Gasly, but we are going to get Russell and keep P and get up to P9. Science has followed me through on Russell, so Russell out the top, out the points. So now we're going to have Brass pass Gasly down the other DRS zone. Um, as well, the tire wear is starting to slip in. You can see there a bit of a back end loss as well. Um, as we're watching Logan Sargent, he's ahead of the both half of Tyrese, um, as well. He was behind them earlier, but he's had a spinala um, as well. And then there's been an issue, and that's I think there's a red flag. So Noda, I think, has had a spinala and has blocked the track. Let's get a replay. Yes, he's lost the rear end. He's lucky not to be, both Sergeant and Sonoda are so lucky not to be out this race. But, um, yeah, we got lucky there, just being able to slip to the inside. Now, race strategy for the rest of this race is either hard, which I'm not really interested. I think we got this pace to make this work. Two sets of soft tyres to the end should be good. A few other people probably will be making a similar choice. Vibrant lights then, and away we go, and it's... Well, it's not the best start, not to be honest, but um, we are going to have a go at Esteban Ocon. We're down the inside of Esti Vesti. Verstappen has got Ocon, um, and we're up to P3. So, yeah, obviously going to the left there got us a lot of positions um, as well off the fibre. You know, um, as Sonoda was backwards, um, or sideways really, um, we... Uh, you know, been elevated now up to the podium, so we've got a good chance. Sainz is also um, trying to make some positions, although he's further down because he got stuck behind Sonoda, and now he's ahead um, of both of them. Sorry, he's behind both of them, excuse me, as uh, Sonoda. You know, there's here is Sainz, excuse me, having a go at Gasly. So Gasly is once, he, he must have an engine issue, surely, because um, he has fallen way down the field. You know, Sonoda's got in front of Perez. And Sainz is then going to go in front of Norris, but Norris is on the hards. So, uh, uh, this is going to be interesting with where Norris is going to feed out, because I don't think we're all, I think with all the squabbling that's going on, I don't think we're breaking away from Norris too much. He's only that turquoise block top in front. Piastri is way out in front, but we are catching Max Verstappen. Now, there's a question over whether the Red Bulls have got enough tyre wear and the likes of those of us on mediums currently can get to the end of the race. I don't think they can, personally. But I'll have to wait and see about that. Down the inside of Max Verstappen, and it's an easy textbook move. Not too deep into that corner um, as well. And, you know, we're up to P2. Verstappen now is coming under threat from Yuki Sonoda. Sonoda, of course, won the previous... Um, not the previous... Not the previous race, but the, the race in Brazil... Um, as well, two rounds ago. So, yeah, Sonoda is a race winner, but Verstappen is going to fight um, as well. And this is going to allow me to just run away from them and try and catch Piastri, really, um, as well. Sonoda around the outside, but still in front. Now Perez has got both of them. And Sonoda's a sitting duck. There comes De Vries with a huge dive bomb, getting his teammate, but can he get Verstappen? He's side by side. No, Verstappen's still through, but now De Vries. Um, is still there, although Verstappen down back down the inside. Can he keep? He, can he keep what is? I think P4. Yes, he can. But they are fighting now. But Perez is caught up to me because the tyre where these softs are starting to go off. Um, so it's look. You know, we are on a two. We are on a two-stop strategy um, as well. Down the. In but we're going to defend the inside. A little bit too deep there um, as well. But we are able to defend Perez for now. But as we move to lap 16, with nine laps to go, we are coming into the pits at the end of lap 16, I should say. The Astri's all coming as well, so yeah. Sadly, at the end of the, the end of that stint, you know, Sartre, excuse me, Piastri was actually just running away. 
um, as well, a whole load of people are going to go through. So we've got a bit of overtaking. We've got both Williams on the hards, along with Lando Norris. So we're out behind them, but you know, with eight laps remaining, it's time to get a move on. Uh, you know, this is a good chance because Piastri will get stuck behind some of these cars, guaranteed in either a DRS train or not really being able to overtake but he is the four places above us are going to send it already on Nico Hulkenberg we want it we, I think we can win this race um, personally speaking but we've got a lot of work to be at, make it to make it happen as I say that was a huge send on Hulkenberg um, you know and again the hat of course is one of the worst cars of the now. oh no there's been a red flag We've been on these cut. We're making good progress as well. It's Sonoda again, and this time he hasn't survived. As science has made sure that uh, he's out of the race with an engine, f with uh, you know, sorry, uh, missing front tether. Um, so yes, both science and Sonoda out of the race means that we're going to have to put on another set of soft tyres um, and just you know make the best of it. We are in P10. So we can still win, but it depends how quickly we get through this traffic as we're way um, off the far red lights. Going to go down here inside a sergeant, please, Logan, give me the space, get back to last place. You know, a few people on medium tyres as well. Um, you know, as they've used this sort of sergeant, actually done me. Now that we're overtaken by Gasly, we're going to try and use a bit of our ERS now, and they're just going defensively. You know what we're going to do? We're going to send it round the outside here. Under braking, round the outside, Piastri can't get Piastri, we can get both Stroll on the side, a lovely little move there, we're up to P7 already, so this has been a good start, um, as well, up at the front though, Sergio Perez leads his Grand Prix from London Norris and Max Verstappen, the two Alpha Tauris, as there's a bloke waving a red flag, which is not correct, the two Alpha Tauris are currently 4th and 5th, you know, they've not been, this is going to get majority of their points already, as we're going to send it on that Piastri, down the inside, a little bit too deep there though, and Piastri comes back at me, so now we've got to try and do this on the start finish. We've got enough ERS to be able to do this, but um, you know, it's going to be to the outside here. Can we make this move work around the outside? Piastri's still there, we're trying to squeeze him, um, and we have just about got this move up and up to P5. It is a replay there. At one point, I thought Piastri was going to, there was going to be contact or would end up in the wall. Um, you know, but we have made the move work around the outside. Uh, Piastri on medium tyres. Um, that's why he doesn't have another set of new mediums available as well. Behind us, um, Gasly is now having a go at Piastri. So Piastri starting to look a bit vulnerable as well. And Stroll's going to have a go at him as well and get him as well. We're now up to uh, Albon and Albon's down in fifth place. But the Alpha, there's a back, because Gasly and Stroll are too busy fighting, there's a huge gap between uh, Stroll and Gasly and the two Alpha Tauris. And there, there it is, Stroll is going through, the DRS is so overpowered, you know, even a, a back marker team like Williams is able to get in front of a midfield team. So now we're going to make a pretty similar move on our old teammate Kevin Magnussen and rob him of the podium that he took on in season one at the front though it is Sergio Perez who currently leads but not for much longer because Max Verstappen has DRS down the final straight and Verstappen is going to be the one who will win this race for Red Bull sadly it was only third for us today the second red flag the first red flag helped us immensely you know getting up to P4 the second one really screwed us over um you know making that extra stop really um yeah have we not made that extra stop it would have been interesting to see how it got on who would have done which strategies but as it's happens everyone pit logan Sargent, by the way he did actually finish in the points in p9 um uh, piastri finished behind stroll and gasly in p8 so yes Sargent in p9 de vries who was one point like fourth he finished in 11th um, so yeah, no points for De Vries. Means that uh, we have an 81 point gap now to Sainz because Sainz did not finish. Verstappen 
is in, is quite quite comfortable now in P3 as well. So yes, because uh, the structure is pretty much wrapped up. But Alpha Tari, this is a big move for them, just like in real life in 2023 in this 2025 season three career mode they have moved up to p8 with a huge result today with fourth and fifth so you know there's four points separating them between them and alfa romeo who didn't score today had a real shocker um alfa romeo did finished out the points so yes but that ladies and gentlemen is where i'm going to leave it for today's episode um of course, these episodes aren't quite coming as frequent. I've made clear that there's no community post. I hope you understand that, that, you know, these episodes do take a little bit more time now um, to make up because I've got less time because I'm at the office basically most every day of the week apart from the weekend when I'm recording these episodes. The next episode of Abu Dhabi will be out next week for definite. And then after that... I will try and get as much as season 3 but I'm also working on the 1k special so there might not be another F1 gaming video there will be an episode of race week out next week as well I'll try and get that out as well be it until the next video then I'll see you next time take care, thanks for watching, enjoy your day and goodbye <laughs>